WHO has warned that the threat of the pandemic is very real. Hi, my name is Ranjini and I am a medical doctor serving in Malaysia. And the reason I'm making this video is just that I believe that a virtual message will get across a lot faster than reading and over the radio and stuff. So as you know, today I'm going to be speaking about COVID-19. So to me, this entire situation is as equivalent to its war as the Prime Minister of Italy has stated that the scenario the country is facing is as bad as World War II, if not worse. And hey, guess what? Back in the days when men were called to war, at least they were told, give it your best, kill the enemy and stuff like that. But we are literally facing a losing battle in today's present state. Coronavirus 1, humans 0. And that is because at this point in time, we just don't have vaccines or treatment per se yet. There are so many countries who are in a state of emergency. India, France, Italy, Spain, Jakarta, and I'm not sure, maybe the list is longer. The situation is real for you, me, and the rest of the world. So it is my plea that you continue listening if you have not been complying to the movement restriction order given by our Prime Minister and the King and that is being carried out by the Angkatan Tentera Malaysia as well as PDRM. In terms of treatment, on the 20th of March, WHO has launched a mega trial called Solidarity to test a couple of drugs by receiving data from so many countries that are participating in the study to come up with the proper treatment as well as prophylaxis treatment for frontliners. So for us to get treatment is going to take a while, let alone vaccines. Now let's move on to some statistics just to have a clearer idea on where we stand with the fight against this virus. If you were to look at China where it all started in a state called Wuhan, they have begun to plateau in terms of the number of active cases. And if we were to look at Italy, it is rising, it has already got a steep curve. And now when you look at the Malaysian curve, it is getting to be a very steep curve. And what is going to happen when such a situation occurs is that it's going to crumble the health system like what is potentially happening right now in Italy. Having said that, we must understand from an economic standpoint of view, China is huge. Italy is a first world country just like many other European countries and they were struggling. Malaysia is a developing country. Are we able to withstand such a steep rise in the number of active cases, excluding those who require intensive care? From a recent press statement, the DG has said that they have reserved 26 hospitals to treat the COVID situation and they also have reserved 3,400 beds. They have 925 ventilators, but may still require 500 more ventilators, and they have 300 ICU beds. If we have all the equipments and beds that we need, we still need healthcare staffing to be able to look and treat and care for these patients. A healthcare personnel is a human being and they only can be stretched physically and mentally so much before they give way and end up crumbling the entire healthcare system. What I am coming to is that this entire situation is in your hands, my hands and the entire nation. To those of you who have complied to the movement restriction um, order, thank you so much because to some extent you have helped to contain the spread of the virus. To those of you who still think that you are Iron Man or that nobody is going to attack you nor virus Please, don't just think of yourself. In an interview with um, a professor in molecular virology by The Guardian, it was stated that 85% of confirmed cases symptoms can go undetected or be easily confused with the common cold of mild flu, which simply means that you and I may have the virus in us with a very, very mild form of flu. But when we go back to our homes where we have elderly and children who are the vulnerable group, you may put them in a very dangerous situation because they may succumb to a more serious version of this illness. So let me re-emphasize what you and I got to do because it is literally in our hands 
to contain the spread of this virus right now. Please obey the movement restriction order, which is made as a collective decision by the government. If you need to go to the supermarket, please put on a list, go and grab stuff for two weeks, one person go out. When you come back, wash your hands, wash your feet. If you can have a bath outside your house, especially if you have those vulnerable categories at home. Secondly, please be up to date with the clusters that are involved with this COVID virus. If you have happened to be in one of those mass gatherings, please look out for the symptoms which you may have. And if you are positive that yes, I was in that small space um, with a large number of people on that particular day, please go to your nearest health facilities, tell them and they will guide you. It is very important for you to identify that risk that you have by yourself because the minute you have symptoms the first thing to do especially if you're living in a house full of other people is to isolate yourself and get yourself to the nearest facility if you're still unsure please contact the hotline so you can directly ask them and they will direct you where to go so i'm going to wrap this up as i don't want to take up much time of yours again i would like to re-emphasize that this entire situation is literally in your hands whether your actions will make or break the health system in malaysia is up to you so together let's face the battle of fighting against covid19 and keeping the nation safe thank you very much for listening